Normally, this is what you associate Habitat for Humanity with. Well, Habitat traditionally has focused on the adults in the household, meaning let's build a house. Now they're building up the youngest members of the family, the kids. If the adults are also learning a new skill set and moving into home ownership, let's do something for the youth that would also get them better prepared than where their parents are. So the Forsyth County chapter of the nonprofit just launched a youth culinary arts program for 16 and 17 year olds from underserved communities. It's in partnership with the Triad Food and Beverage Coalition, as well as Second Harvest Food Bank's culinary training program, Providence. And then let's think, what other tools do we need? The goal uh, is to not only bowl. teach them how to cook, but change their perspective on finding work. At their age, I know it's a little difficult to get in, especially if you don't have a lot of work experience or none. So the goal is to kind of get them familiarized with the kitchen, get them comfortable, and hopefully that will reflect in their interview and potential job hire. And no cracking under pressure here though. Even though they are in a real professional kitchen at the Second Harvest Food Bank, Director of Culinary Education Daryl Pobance says they're taking a slow and steady approach over the course of the six weeks. Yeah, so go ahead and kind of communicate with each other who's going to measure out what. Red wants to keep these enrichment programs going and get more teens involved, but the end goal is to end poverty, and he says this is one small step in that effort. There aren't enough programs out here um, like this for our youth right now. So the more programs we have like this, I think it will get kids um, maybe even off the streets, stay out of trouble. In Winston-Salem, Jackie Pascal, WXII 12 News.